Namaste. Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Anjali. Hum Ache Hey. Kaise Hey Up. And today we're going to be talking about this wonderful story that we read in the news. So I didn't find a video for us to react to. Um, so we're just going to talk about the article we read, which was about two brothers from Karnataka, um, Pasha brothers, that have sold their land for 25 legs to feed the poor in their area. I mean, just amazing. It's yeah. completely unheard of. You know, we hear stories here people doing nice deeds for others or giving money or, you know, some of them giving their time, you know, the doctors and everybody that's helping out police during this time that are putting their lives on the line. But to sell your own land to, to collect enough money for the poor so that you can feed them is completely unheard of. Yeah. And um, it's just amazing. Yeah, it really is amazing how each family got like a lot of rice wheat, spices, tea, and all the necessities that you would need to survive in this coronavirus, in this virus, to not go out of your house, right. to stay inside and to survive. Like, And it's incredible how they did that and how they could, like how people could learn from that. Yeah, completely. Like, this is a time where everybody's locked down in their houses, hopefully staying safe. But the amount of people dying from this and how it's worldwide spread, this is one of those things, like, we're all still human. And there yeah. are going to be a lot of people that need some help. And this is one of those seven things Modi talked about. If you have extra stuff and you're able to give back to the poor, you know, that was one of the things that he talked about in his seven steps to stay safe is, you know, giving back. And here we have, you know, food pantries. You can give canned foods. We have places you can donate money, um, you know, to help out. A lot of restaurants here are... Um, you know, making food and delivering it to the doctors or making food and delivering it to some of the old people. The schools are kind of trying to find out who needs food so that they can give, you know, the kids that need that meal that they were getting at school and now they're not, you know, that they're still getting those meals at home. So yeah. there are a lot of great things out there, but this story just blew us away that somebody would sell their land to give back, um, to make sure the poor people, you know... He, He's not only, they're not only just giving them these packets of food, but like trying to make sure that they stay inside their home so that they stay yeah. safe and they can get through this, you know, and, um, you know, giving them essentials, you know, things that they really need. Though hand sanitizer and masks was the other thing on there. And that's one of those things that like nobody here has. So, yeah. That's why but we made our own masks. We did make our own masks if you haven't seen that. But it's just amazing. And their story, you know, they talked about how, their parents died when they were really young and they had to quit school and start working to make money. Um, you know, their grandparents were raising them and that they just went, you know, they said people from different religions helped them out when they were struggling and now they're, they're not struggling anymore. And they just felt like this was the time during this pandemic when everything in the world is, you know, and shut down and stuff is going crazy. This is the time they felt like we need, this is, this is our chance. This is our chance to give back for everybody that gave to us. So regardless of your religion and your caste and anything, they are showing up at your door with food and the essentials that you need. And um, just amazing, yeah. amazing. So let us know if you guys have heard of other stories like this. We see a lot of stuff on the news here and there. Um, we get bits and pieces, but I'm sure there are a lot of good stories like this. I'm sure, I'm hoping once this is over, there will be a lot of wonderful stories that come out like this. Yeah. But this was amazing. This is makes me so proud. And this is one of those things that I feel like India always puts their heart on their sleeve and gives back to others whether they have a lot to give. They give what they can, so, and they help other people, and I think that's great, so... I hope you guys like this. And don't forget to subscribe. And join the wonderful Jan family. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.